Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the area under a curve or the area between the curve and the x-axis using integration. So let's begin. So if we're given the equation of the curve y equals f of x, so I have a diagram here showing a curve y equals f of x and if I have two lines with equations x equaling a and x equaling b so if we want to work out the area under the curve between the two lines having equations x equals a and x equals b what we need to do is we need to integrate and we integrate the equation of the curve y with respect to x and the limits of integration will be x equaling a and this will be the lower limit of integration and x is equal to b that will be the upper limit of integration so remember in order to calculate the area we integrate the equation of the curve y and since y equals f of x if I replace the y by f of x we have the integral between limits a and b of f of x with respect to x so there is a note that I would like to make any area above the x-axis will be positive when you calculate it using integration However, any area below the x-axis will be negative when you calculate it using integration. However, area itself is a scalar. So by scalar, it's a quantity that has magnitude only. So if you have a negative answer when calculating the area using integration, ignore the negative sign. Now, over to example one. So Example 1, the question reads, calculate the area under the curve y equals x cubed between the lines x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. So let's have a go with this example. So back to the paper and pen. So here's the equation of the curve y equals x cubed. And we need to integrate that between the x values 1 and 2. So 1 and 2 will be the limits of our integral. As we're integrating with respect to x, we need to use the x values as our limits. So let's work out the area under the curve between these lines. So the area, a, so remember the idea, you need to integrate y, so y being the equation of the curve, with respect to x. And 1 will be the lower limit of integration. 2 will be the upper limit of integration. So if I replace the y by x cubed, we're going to integrate between limits 1 and 2, x cubed with respect to x. So now we have a definite integral to evaluate. So let's integrate x cubed. So since we have a definite integral, let me open up a square bracket. When I integrate x cubed, remember the idea, we add 1 to the power, 3 plus 1 being 4, divide by that result, 4. Let me close that square bracket, and remember, the limits go on the right-hand side, above and below the square bracket. Now, from this point forward, let me replace the limits. So, upper limit needs to be replaced first, so upper limit being 2. So we're going to have 2 to the power 4 divided by 4 minus, as always. And then we replace the lower limit being 1. So upon replacement of the lower limit, we'll have 1 to the power 4 divided by 4. And when you calculate the solution, 2 to the 4 is 16 over 4 minus... 1 to the 4 is 1 over 4. The answer should be 15 over 4. So it's 15 over 4 units squared. So for example 2, we need to calculate the area under the curve. And the curve equation is y is equal to x squared plus 2 between the lines x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3. So let's see how this is done. So back to the paper and pen. So here is our curve equation, y is equal to x squared plus 2. And we need to integrate that between the lines x equals 1 and x equals 3. So first of all, 
let me write down the formula. So to work out the area capital A, we need to integrate the equation of the curve Y with respect to X and the lower limit is one, the upper limit is three. So let me replace the Y. So we're integrating Y, which is replaced by X squared plus two between the limits one and three. So let me open up a square bracket and let's integrate. When I integrate X squared, I should have X cubed over three. So add one to the power, divide by the result. Plus when I integrate two, it's two X. Let me close this square bracket and write the limits on the right hand side. So the limits being three and one. Now let me replace the limits. So upper limit three goes in first. So it's three to the power three over three plus two into X, which is three minus, and let's replace the lower limits being one. So let's have a look. So in this case, we're gonna have one to the power three divided by three plus two into one. So if you make the calculation of this, you should have an answer of 38 over three units squared. So that should be the solution to example number two. So that completes that example, example number two, and that also sadly ends the video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do plenty of practice related problems and I hope to see you again. Thank you.